Friends, coming to you from Moto Man Studio A with an important announcement that I am personally excited to share with you. Last week, the World Car Awards organization nominated yours truly to their international jury panel. Now, I wouldn't blame you if you were scratching your head thinking, well, what exactly is the World Car Awards organization? Uh, and to that, I would say it's kind of like the Academy, but instead of awarding Best Picture or Best Director, it is Best Car, Best Design of the Year. Now, there's a lot of moving parts here, but we need to focus on why this is important and what does this mean moving forward. Let's start with why this is important. And those of you out there that are like doctors or lawyers in a professional corporation, entrepreneurs that run their own business, or you're in the creative field much like me, anybody that draws their own paycheck, you understand that we are motivated by something very internal, very deep within us. That's what gets us up in the morning and gets us past the inevitable challenges on the road to living your dreams. And in my case, it was the intersection of cars and storytelling. And e even knowing that, I would be lying to you if I told you I wasn't incredibly honored that this external organization made up of a group of my professional peers saying, hey man, we like what you've been doing over the past 10 years, we like the quality of it, and we like the reach, come and join us. I I'm incredibly honored by that. And then second, and really to understand why this organization is exciting to me, is you gotta understand the makeup of this show. So yes, I come to you every single week uh, from the California Republic and the vast majority of cars we feature on the show, well, they're US market cars. This organization is an international organization, but what you don't know is my viewership, almost 50% of it comes from outside of the US. So joining an organization that is made up of, last count, I think it was 89 jurors from all over the world, only 19 or 20 come from the US. That gets me to the point of the organization that is tasked with seeking out the outliers in this car world that we love matches the viewership of this show. Now, what does this mean for the show moving forward? On a day-to-day -day basis, really not gonna change a lot. But as we move into auto show season, that's where the journey to World Car Award of the Year starts. Uh, and basically, it's Frankfurt all the way through the New York Auto Show. And all the eligible cars are announced at Frankfurt. And then as we move through more of these international auto shows, it's whittled down into the finalists. And then in New York is where the awards are given. So this is where I have a huge hope. Um, as I said, most of the cars that Kumo and I feature are US market cars. But cars that are considered eligible for World Car of the Year, well, some of them are not sold in the US and I am hoping to feature some of those on the show. It's a big hope, no guarantee. Then the second thing, and probably the one I'm more excited about, let's go back to that makeup of this jury. It's 89 car guys and gals from all over the world. India, New Zealand, Germany, UK, you name it. These are people, a lot of them I have not met, but I've been following over the past 10 years that I've been doing this. And now, starting in Frankfurt all the way to New York, we're gonna have these interactions, testing some of these cars together. And my hope is to invite some of them on the show to kind of share their journey and share their thoughts on cars that may be completely different from mine and hopefully share that with you guys. And so with that, we get to the most important part of this announcement. And that is, thank you. Because without you watching for the past 10 years, none of these milestones would have been possible. And think about some of the early ones. Competing in Target Newfoundland, learning how to pilot the Goodyear blimp, building a Morgan from start to finish, talking to the likes of Ralph Scheele, uh, Bob Lutz, Pernod Jones, and more. Uh, driving some of the cool cars that we do in some pretty amazing places, just recently last year, Bahrain, Motoman Studio A. And don't think I am not grateful that you seem to love my uh, very fluffy, very fickle dog more than you like me. But I won't hold that against you. What I am thankful for is you guys watching, sharing these episodes, and almost more than that, getting into the comments, because I feel we've created a forum for us to have a constructive discussion, whether we agree or disagree, uh, on this thing of us. So whatever this World Car Awards milestone adds to our journey, I'm excited to share it with you guys.